Well, someone in the chat room just asked me if I would ever consider being a foot model. I've been a foot model. I actually probably could be a shoe model because I wear a size 7. I have small feet for my height. So, have I ever considered it? Not professionally. Have I been a foot fetish model? Many times. Many times. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I recently put my hair extensions back in. I think they look fabulous. I do my hair myself. I actually made a chart recently in regards to how to install weave properly via the glue-in method if you're a single girl on a budget. I have been doing my own hair now for quite some time since um, high school actually. I do my own hair extensions and I do a pretty good job. I do the integration method to where I have my own hair. I don't sew up my hair or anything. I just put the weave in with my hair for length. And um, I made a graph in a chart recently. I'm going to make a whole YouTube video about my method as far as how I install my hair extensions because I think a lot of women would like to know how to do it a very cost effective and simple way to where you use <laughs> a very limited amount of hair extension track per square inch of your head that way usually you can get at least um, two cycles of hair extensions in your head with just one pack of weave I'm very methodical in everything I do and I like to share my knowledge on that it's back.com um, I've never met this guy, but I really liked what he wrote. His name is Jeremy Steele, and he recently wrote a pretty good article on greed within the porn industry. Um, it's called The Obscenity of Greed, Seed of Both Our External and Internal Destruction. It's an opinion editorial by Jeremy Steele. I think you all should read it because he did a good job. A lot of people criticized him for his little opinion editorial, but I thought it was pretty good. And to his girlfriend, Miss Lucky Star, I believe that's her name, you are not a brown bag girl or a paper bag girl, not at all. You have a very pretty face. Some people picked on her, but I thought that was wrong. Let's see what else. Oh, here's something exciting. I, I actually think this is very exciting because um, this has to do with the, cross, the crossover trend from of adult industry performers into mainstream entertainment. Miss Riley Steele um, recently walked the red carpet for that new Piranha 3D movie that's out. She's in it. I, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know exactly how much she's in it. But she's also going to be hosting the AVN Awards along with Tori Black. In my opinion, the most, um, well, the porn stars as of current who have the most potential to just go into regular mainstream entertainment at this point would be the following girls. Riley Steele, Tori Black, Angelina Armani, Sasha Gray, and Misty Stone. Those are the five right there. That's about it. I used to say King Cross, but even though I'm a fan of her, not anymore. I think that King Cross, considering her build and what I am noticing is her awakening of what she's really about sexually is starting to come across on film more, I think that she should continue strictly in adult entertainment if she stays with Digital Playground or if she works for herself. That I think that's all she should do. Um, she seems fairly well spoken when she's not nervous, so maybe she could host a show of some sort, but those are the five that I think have the most potential to branch off into mainstream. So it'll be interesting to see what those five young women do over the next few years. Tonight I will talk about one of the dangers that you can encounter as a young woman or even an older woman if you're relatively naive or inexperienced or even if you're not naive or inexperienced entering the adult entertainment world. I'm going to talk about the danger of putting yourself around a lot of people who might be very likely to sexually assault you when you enter the world of adult entertainment. Now, this does not always happen. Um, I was never sexually assaulted when I was an exotic dancer. Never happened as a webcam girl, but then again, I work from home doing that. And But it did happen to me 
when I entered the world of the Los Angeles porn industry. Never happened to me on set, but I found myself in a couple of social situations to where I was sexually attacked. Did I report these instances? Should have tried to, but I waited too long until after the event. And when you do work as an adult entertainer, for investigators and for people who work in the legal profession, it's very hard for them to prove um, sexual assault when you are a professional adult industry worker. Many juries will have a hard time believing you. But what I do want to talk about tonight is how to avoid such situations, or at least how to try your best not to put yourself in harm's way. Now, all of these things I'm going to talk about, of course, they will not 100% prevent you from being sexually attacked, but at least it'll make you think a little bit before you associate with certain types of people and you go out and socialize and maybe even date when you're an adult industry worker. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is um, when you're on set, if you are a porn star or an adult entertainer, or whatever it is that you're doing, um, try your best to maintain a very professional demeanor. Um, make sure that you have someone that you check in with and check out with upon your arrival and departure of whatever assignment it is that you're doing um, as an adult industry professional, whether you be, whether you're an exotic dancer doing a private party or whether you're um, a porn star, you know, arriving and departing from wherever it is that you're shooting. Make sure that you have somebody that you can check in and check out with, whether it be a boyfriend, friend, family member, agent, manager, something. That's something that's very important. Um, be as professional as possible. Um, you can be flirty, fun, whatever, if that's your personality, but make sure that you let whoever it is that you're working with or working for know that you are a professional and that you are not an escort or a hooker and you're not there to fill their personal sexual needs, okay? Um, don't be afraid to say no. If somebody is crossing boundaries with you to where you're feeling uncomfortable, tell them back the fuck off. You know, remember that it's your body and that you can say yes to whatever you want to say to, but you can also say no to whatever you want to say no to. Don't let anybody intimidate you into or bully you into thinking that you have to be sexual with them if they are not who you are supposed to be sexual with on that particular set. Um, don't let anyone talk you into anything and say, oh, well, everyone else is giving me a blowjob. Why don't you give me one too? 